so we have been discussing the nerve to the masseter throughout this series so i thought it's important to throw some light on this nerve as well so the nerve to the masseter which is used in either a primary innervation in the baby sitting procedure or in the two stage procedure or in a fu free functional muscle transfer is a very important nerve which comes from the trigeminal nerve now the trigeminal nerve that is the fifth nerve which we know is a very robust mixed nerve that is sensory and motor nerve has two divisions posterior and anterior now the anterior division has four branches of which the biggest one is actually the nerve to the masseter muscle remember that the masseter muscle is a muscle of mastication which helps in the chewing movements so this nerve is found deep to the parotid masseteric fascia now you may be asked in your viva as to where do you find this nerve because as we have discussed that the nerve should travel a very short distance to help and re-innervate the muscle so where would you find this nerve when you're dissecting so a landmark known as the subzygomatic triangle has been identified so this is the masseter muscle which is found here originating from the zygoma inserting into the ramus of the mandible so at the level of the coronoid notch you have the nerve to masseter coming so the nerve is dissected over here reflected and it is transposed to connect it to the facial nerve distally or to the free functional muscle transfer so what is the subzygomatic triangle so an imaginary triangle found that is bound superiorly by the zygoma laterally by the temporomandibular joint and inferiorly by the direction of the frontal branch of the facial nerve forms this subzygomatic triangle so in this triangle is where you're going to find the nerve to masseter its direction is going to be towards the center of this line which is forming the base of the triangle and that is where you are going to identify the nerve and use it for your transfer now what are the advantages and disadvantages of this nerve so this nerve has a lot of advantages that it is very very powerful so studies have shown that the number of axons that are available in the nerve to masseter are far more than those available in the obturator nerve for the gracilis as well as the terminal branches of the facial nerve as well therefore it gives a very very powerful pull and helps in the function of the oral musculature therefore it is very very good to help develop the oral competence that means to prevent the drooling and dribbling of saliva and to help maintain the integrity of the angle of the mouth it has a good proximity it is in the vicinity of our transfers and there is no donor side problem because there are multiple branches and we usually select just one or two branches as required and because of the short distance and the robust supply it gives a very speedy recovery disadvantages are that the smile is not spontaneous because since this is originally supplying a muscle of mastication that is the muscle of chewing it does not act when the opposite side that is the normal side of the facial muscles initiate a smile so it is not spontaneous and therefore there is no symmetry a lot of time the patient has to start chewing movements to help initiate this smile therefore biofeedback is important for cortical plasticity to help regain the function and to create a natural looking smile as possible therefore in order to train the patient that they may not always have to keep doing gross chewing movements to initiate the smile biofeedback and post operative management of these patients is also very important